Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and today I wanted to answer some questions from you guys. A lot of them about grading, uh, some of them from different grading videos we've had. Uh, Papa, hmm, let me say this right. Papa Giorgio, sorry if I mispronounce your YouTube name. Uh, do you get a greater number when you send coins into grade, like uh, when you buy clothes and it says inspected by number 23? Uh, you do not. You do not know who graded your coins. Um, you know, I don't know any of the coin graders personally. I've mentioned that I think before. Um, I do. I have met some guys that used to work at the coin grading companies. I know guys through other guys, but no one who works there currently. Um, so you do not get to know who looked at your coins, and so you can get different graders for your coins. My understanding is that they have multiple sets of graders depending on the level of coin that you're looking at. In other words, if you're looking uh, to send in more expensive coins, they probably have their most experienced graders work on their most expensive coins that come through. So uh, no, you don't get to find out who looked at your coins. All right, thanks for the question. Anthony Tsatsis says, if you send coins economy and then they think they're worth over $300, do they charge you the extra money? So this is kind of a, a kind of depends. So if you send in coins all the time and you're always sending $500 and $1,000 coins in on the $300 limited economy service, they're gonna charge you for it. They're just gonna say, hey, you need to pay attention to how our service works. Uh, these are the limitations that you can do. Now, if you send in a bunch of coins consistently using the program properly and you have a coin that comes back a higher grade than was expected and catapults itself into a different price range, generally, no, they won't charge you for that. Um, it happens somewhat infrequently because usually you don't have a coin that's going to make that big of a jump that's already kind of an economy service level coin. Um, if you did, you you'd probably be off a couple of grades. I mean, that would probably be a you problem. Probably the grader, the owner of the coin sending it in made a mistake. Uh, thanks for the question. Also, Peter Gonzalez, what do you think about PCGS and other companies uh, grading tone coins as natural when clearly they are not? I wouldn't know anything about that. I have the complete opposite problem. Every coin that I send in that I love, it's tone. They call it questionable toning. Um, he goes on to say, I've seen some extremely neon colors, colors with wrong patterns. I mean, ridiculous toning. Looks like a five-year-old painted them. Well, uh, you know, I will say I'm a lot more likely to find a coin that's been graded that I would think that they would call cleaned and they don't. Um, and I say this, whether or not you call it coin cleaned, there's a whole other discussion on that. But I'm not that likely to find an artificially toned coin in a PCGS or NGC holder unless the holder is fake, damaged, replaced, you know, messed with in some way. Uh, they are very, very conservative right now with grading tone coins, and they are a lot more likely to nix it completely and just tell you, well, we're not sure if it's toned right or not. So, um, you know, maybe there are uh, third-party services that are not legit, like it's not really PCGS or NGC. It's like SPMS, NG, or some other company that was just made up. Well, I just made up, but maybe it's some other fake company and uh, that's grading artificially toned coins. I have seen lots of artificially toned coins in private made holders, not in PCGS or NG, NGC holders. So thanks for the question. And finally for today, Corey Merrill says, uh, Ben, do you ever do any prospecting because you live in big gold country? Well, let me say this. Um, I'd love to go sometime. Um, I live in big silver country to be fair. Southern Arizona is known for its silver. Um, I know that Arizona is known as a state for its copper, but uh, the a lot of the silver dollars from the 1880s from the New Orleans Mint were actually found in, uh, the silver was actually mined in Tombstone, Arizona. So, and that's just like, what, an hour and a half from here. Um, and it's a fun place to visit. It's very much so. Just watch the movie Tombstone and then go down there and, and they still have the original Main Street from the Old West. It's it's touristy, but it's cool. If you've, if you've never experienced what the Old West looked like, there's a lot of tombstone that looks just like it looked like back then. Just an old dirt road and uh, some cowboys and stuff. So anyways, I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Thanks so much for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch some more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.